Okay, round three against Mr. Magaz here. Fortunately, won the die roll again. This hand is okay. It's got a planes in it. So when I draw that Night Vale Spectre, I'm going to feel pretty bad, but other than that, it's fine. Got a lot of... got an even curve. Charm, Sphere, and Verdict for protection. Hopefully I'm playing against a creature deck. Preferably one that's like a little more competitive than the one I played against last round. I'll just go ahead and pause this while my opponent's getting back from the bathroom or something. And we're back. Demir Charm. Demir Charm. Uh, I've actually seen a couple of lists that do play Demir Charm, but it always seemed just pretty bad to me. Like, it's a decent smother, but if you draw it late game, it doesn't really do anything. Because you're not drawing it late game against aggro decks, and you're not drawing it late game against control decks. So it's if you draw it late game, it's just a really bad predict. Or the, what's it do? Look at the top three, kill two of them, put one on top. I believe that's what it does. Uh, but anyway, my opponent is up on this. Okay, so I've got... I think I'm just going to play my Demir Guildgate here. Then next turn play a Plains and Azorius Charm this guy. Uh, you know, actually, Godless Shrine. I'll play my Godless Shrine. Because I, I don't think... This only two drop will be... Ash Zealot, which I would want to Azorius Charm next turn, so he'll play it into my Wrath. Doesn't look like he has Ash but if he has, like, Gorge House Chainwalker, or, you know, Bella's Lizards. <laughs> See, now I would want to... Hmm. I guess just play my Guildgate, and then Azorius Charm or something. I'm just going to Azorius Charm as Bella's Lizard. The card is not... Okay. At least it had two power. <laughs> I'm actually just going to slam Jace here. Jace, then he replaces Bella's Lizard and maybe something else. And he might then I'd get more value out of my Supreme Verdict. As is, Jace would only be taking one damage from Burning Tree Zealot, or Burning Tree Emissary. And I would only be taking one damage if he decides to attack me. So he could play a Mountain, so he's probably just Mono Red. Okay. So now I get to Supreme Verdict. I'm going to go ahead and minus Jace. So if if he has a Supreme Verdict, okay, I'm just going to take whichever pile has two lands in it. Probably the Plains Island pile. I was kind of hoping I would reveal two lands, because I really wanted the lands here. My opponent's thinking about the optimal way to rearrange three lands into piles of one and two. If he wants to give me three lands, I'm completely fine with that. Jace was a pretty good draw last turn. Island Watery Grave. That's way better than having a Plains. So I'll take it. White and Wrath. Scorchwalker. That's interesting. I haven't seen that before. Not to say it's bad, it's just... It's actually pretty good here, I have to use a... Addition Sphere on it. And then I'll play my Nebula Spectre. And my opponent's out of cards. And now I have a Night Vale Spectre. Night Vale Spectre, not at, its, not at its best in this matchup, but... Yeah, if I draw a Mountain, or if I get to exile a Mountain, I at least get to play it. Okay. Well, I'm playing Obzad out this turn. Thank you. Black, black, 
quite. Uh, unfortunately, I can't always yield to Obzot because it's a new Obzot at every time it exits the battlefield. Yeah, I'll go ahead and exile it. Uh, this does open up my Jace to Ash Zealot, but it's not big a deal because if he plays Ash Zealot, my Obzot outmatches it pretty easily, and I'd rather gain the life than have a Jace. Go ahead and devour my Reckoner, his Reckoner's Flesh. Plus, the game's pretty easy from here. I'm not even going to have time to cast this Sphinx's Revelation. I will go ahead and exit out. I opposite out. The best thing about Obzot is every time you attack with it, it's basically a free roll to exile it. Because it can't block anyway. Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> I think my opponent saw the writing on the wall. I'm going to take out a syncopate, some number of detention spheres, maybe a couple night veal specters. I'm going to use my same board plan as I did last time, dramatic rescues, high priests, a uh, keying apparition, I think I'd rather a night veal specter. Let's see. Um, I'm not a big fan of detention sphere against aggressive matchups, it never seems that good. Maybe I want... I think I like Night Veil Spectre so much because it's it's a really cool card. I really like this effect. Uh, I'm not sure if it's that good or not. But I really want to play with it. That seems like a dangerous place to be in. So I'll, I'll just take them out and play in Attention Spheres. I'm trying to reason in playing more Night Veil Spectres. But against Boris Reckoner, Night Veil Spectre just didn't do enough. It's a 2-3, whereas Reckoner's a 3-3, and attacking it doesn't gain me extra cards because he's playing Mono Red. So, oh well. Uh, taking out all my counter spells, I don't expect him to have Rock Disc Return. He's probably just playing Mono Red with Dyna Charge and whatnot. Maybe I should have another Obzidot on my sideboard. The card's very good against this deck. Yeah, I have to mulligan this. No lands. Uh, okay. It's not the worst hand. I have a Dramatic Rescue and a Devour Flesh. Now if he goes an Emissary here... Okay. Emissary I'd be in pretty bad trouble. Emissary 2 drop, that is. start devouring some flesh. Hmm, that's weird. I would have sacrificed the cackler. It's, about, it's basically the same card, but this one can't block, doesn't have first strike, and doesn't have haste. <laughs> So if I was already trying the Cackler, he'll have to draw it and play it again and not attack. Or if he sacrificed the uh, Ashtalit, I can Azorius charm the Cackler this turn, if I had an Azorius charm, that is. And he wouldn't do anything. So I'm just going to Dramatic Rescue his Cackler. Oh man, I knew he was going to do that. Oh, that feels so good. I guess I'll just get his Ashtalit since he can't play it again this turn. I thought he was going to discard Scorchwalker, but Dino Charge is probably better for me. Since Dino Charge does a lot more damage than Scorchwalker. Well, not this turn, but just in future turns. Since Dino Charge is a lot better than Scorchwalker here. Um. If I play Jace, I go to 8. He attacks with Ash Zillet. If he attacks with Ash Zillet, Cackler on Jace, Jace goes to 3. If he attacks me, I go to 4. I think I still want to play Jace here. Because I, I want to draw a Wrath, 
and I have a, I have a revelation in hand. So I'm trying to reason this out. <laughs> Hopefully he just plays like Ash Zealot Reckoner, because if he's Ash Zealot land Dino Charge in his hand, if that's his current hand, then I'm pretty dead here. But I don't think he has that, it's pretty unlikely. If he does, I'm dead. Right? Oh no no no. Their power will be minus one. So I'd only take one, two, plus four would be six damage, so I'd get a two. And then I'm probably dead, but I'm not actually dead. Okay, Jace is going to three. So, he's gaining me life. He gained me four life this turn. Or two life since I paid two for that grave. Come on, Reckoner. Skullcrack? Oh, to kill Jace. I'll take it. So now I get to dramatic rescue his cackler and kill his Arcelot. Next turn, hopefully draw an untapped land and cast Relations for four. Maybe he'll be out of cards by then. And he's going for it again. Okay, so he's he's dying charge in hand. <laughs> Seems pretty obvious to me. Just randomly tapping three mana is not very convincing. I think he learned his lesson from last time. play this. Hopefully draw land. Okay. I'm out of defenses. That's a pretty good one. I'm going to go and cast this since he's Dino Charge in hand. You can't really do anything about this. Dino Charge or Scorch Walker. I think either one would have killed me last turn. Or the turn he tapped three mana for no reason. He could just be like next level bluffing me, but I doubt it. Strongly doubt it. That's a good draw. I'm actually just going to gain life with the Sphinx's Revelation, and then play whatever land I draw. Past turn, he'll go to I'll go to I don't know some life total. I'm at a pretty high life total now. I think it's going to be very difficult for him to kill me. He has to have a lot of cards to kill my Angel of Serenity, and I don't think he has it in him. I don't want to wait until the end of his turn to Revelations, because, well, one, I don't get to play the land I draw, and two, he's already played a Skullcrack, so I'm assuming he has multiple Skullcrack in his deck. So with that, I don't want to, like, not gain the life from Sphinx's Revelations, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. How much life have I gained this game? This gained me two, this gained me two, this gained me two, this gained me four. This gave me two, so I've gained eight life this turn. So I would be at two <laughs> if uh, all this incremental life gain hadn't been happening. Though calling Jace life gain is generous. I could leave open Dramatic Rescue here, but I don't see a point. Ooh, Hellraiser Goblin. It's an interesting card. I 
just gonna get his reckoner and play Jace. I haven't seen a deck play this card yet. I'm not ever going to minus this. I don't think I need the cards anymore, and the damage prevention is much better. Since I'm giving all his creatures haste right here. Oh, he has Annihilating Fire. Is that what he tapped 3 for earlier? Is that what he's had all this time? Okay. Illegal attack. You must... You must attack, sir. <laughs> Ooh, I just drew a rest for the weary or whatever. Gain five life. The a skull crack. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. Let's see if he has a if he has skull crack here, and I use Zori's charm for the life link mode. I go to two. I'll have to dramatic rescue his thing in response, I'll go to four, and then I'll plus chase. Okay, I think it's worth it. Creatures you control gain lifelink. No skull crack? Okay. Okay. Ooh, blind obedience. I'm taking that over everything. Like, that counters his Hellraiser Goblin so hard. And I get to start gaining life. Yeah, this card has impressed me a lot. Is this card main deck worthy? Like, this deck's pretty popular. I wouldn't be surprised if I can just main deck blind obedience. I'll take two. Okay, so he's dead next turn. GG. Uh, that time we just saw the power of Dramatic Rescue, basically, and uh, how unreliable Dino Charge is, basically. He used it to get in an extra 2 damage, and that's just not worth a card. Like, it would have been an extra 4 damage, but I, I think he chose a poor time to Dino Charge. He Dino Charge when all 3 of my mana was untapped, and I'm playing a control deck, so I'm going to have some cheap threads. I, I just didn't like his play there, but, I mean, it gave me a win, so... Going two one into round four, need to win that. Went need to win the last one.